Good Sunday morning, everybody. I am Corel. you're in my kitchen with me, and I don't know why I wanted to talk to you this morning. I just thought, you know, I'm doing something that uh, everyone has to do. In other words, I'm making breakfast, and on the weekends, I do not uh, do my normal uh, oatmeal uh, and, you know, fruit and all that. I do fruit, of course, on the weekend, but I don't do, I'm jamming, aren't I jamming? I, I have my Apple Music Library playing. Uh, which I don't normally do, meaning I'm not just streaming someone else's music. I actually bought all this or digitized all this. This is my digitized 25 years ago library. Uh, and uh, I'm listening to it on a Sunday morning and I want everything to be okay for you, for me. And yet I read the news, I made the mistake of doing that. Uh, and it was bad, <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Uh, because, you know, we have really horrible uh, really horrible things going on in this country. We have, oh look, the girl is up. The girl is up, the girl is up, the girl is up. She does normally get, not get up until it's time for nom noms, but the girl is up. <laughs> and that means my life is wonderful. The girl is up. Oh, she's doing her downward doggy and stretching and all of that. Okay, so I'm, I cook breakfast on Saturday and Sunday uh, for myself, uh, meaning I, I make stuff. Excuse the camera work today, but I didn't plan on doing this. So this morning what I'm gonna do is take this, because you know how on the weekends you kinda wanna empty out the fridge too, you don't wanna, you know. Uh, by the way, this is just a fun little cooking segment. If you're looking for deep, meaningful insights, there might be some about politics. I was reading the news today. I. I, I'm mortified at what governors are doing to innocent, scared people. I, I, I cannot believe. Ron DeSantis is a criminal. Gavin Newsom has called out for him to be uh, prosecuted, to be indicted, to be investigated. It was clear-cut kidnapping what they did. And, and I don't want that to be on my mind when I'm looking at all of this. Okay, can y'all see what I'm seeing here? I have taken to battle, okay? And... I don't want that to be on my mind, but it is. It is on my mind. So what I'm gonna do this morning to try to get it off my mind is I had a pie crust in the refrigerator I had to use, and there it is. Uh, and I just got some asparagus at Walmart. I did not wanna to go to Walmart, but I was having lunch at No Butcher. It was right there. I needed things that it would have all in one spot. And damn it, I went. I don't feel good about it, but I did get a lot of great bargains, things that were much cheaper there than they are at Sprouts. Uh, and I thought, well, Sprouts, Walmart, they're both corporations. It's not like I'm depriving a mom and pop. Uh, anyway, so they had asparagus for $1.50, which, wow. They had avocados for 78 cents, and this lady, uh, Hispanic lady, was going through them with a fine-tooth comb, and she was, go she was being so thorough about picking out avocados uh, that I asked her to pick me too. And she didn't speak English, and in Espanol, un poco solamente, I tried to ask, but then her daughter asked her for me, told her what I wanted, and so she picked these two for me because she really looked like she knew an avocado. Uh, and so I was like, well, better go to an expert. So I've sort of just, I'm gonna throw together a vegan quiche is what's gonna happen here. And I'm gonna do it in record time because I'm freaking hu hungry. Uh, and uh, also I'm soaking black beans because at Walmart they had black beans for 50s, or uh, black eyed peas. Uh, black Eyed Peas for 50 cents. So I got a pound for 50 cents. You know, Black Eyed Peas are popular because of the war, because the North marched into the South and burned up all the crops. Uh, but they didn't burn up the Black Eyed Peas, uh, the crops, not the, the group, uh, because they um, uh, thought that no one ate Black Eyed Peas. They thought just dogs or pigs or cows or whatever would eat them. All right, so I've got my olive oil. I've got a pan over here, but first I've got to chop up the asparagus into bite size. Of course, I save all my food waste now in this bucket, and then what do we do with it? We loamy it, that's right, we compost it. It's increased the bugs around, but that's okay. You should keep yours in an airtight, sealed container. I just throw mine in a bucket and then empty it. And yeah, there I get some bugs in the kitchen. I do, little flying things. Okay, so that's... Hey, that's me. I'm playing me on there. <laughs> L O V E R. You're my lover. That's what you are, boy. <laughs> I'm hearing me in the kitchen. O V E R. You're my 
Lava. It's the middle of the song. See that? I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm actually playing on the radio and I didn't hear me. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, I've got some spinach I need to use. These are green containers my neighbor gave me because he's not healthy and his girlfriend was and she moved and so he gave me her leftover green containers. They really do work. Uh, oh, and over here we have mushrooms. We have mushrooms because we also we have a lot of mushrooms we have to use because I'm a vegan and I buy a lot of mushrooms. So we have a lot of mushrooms we have to use. So mushroom, asparagus, spinach, quiche. For the base of the quiche, I am going to use tofu. Uh, I don't know why I leave you over there. You could come with me. Uh, tofu, tofu, tofu. Uh, I'm also gonna throw in a layer of just egg because I love, to love me some just egg, honey. All right, so I've chopped this, chopped this, chopped this. Oh, gotta chop what? Chop you some mushrooms, baby. And you know, you can't have too many mushrooms, can you? You know, I used to hate mushrooms until I became vegan. That's the truth. Mushrooms and avocado, I used to hate. I just would not eat them. In fact, Andrew would, I don't know if he'd be mad at me right now for all the years I derided his avocado eating. I'm like, oh, you're eating baby caca. Uh, and now I love it. I love me the avocado now. So, there are some world issues that weigh on your mind on a Sunday morning, but you know, yesterday I was talking to my neighbor, Dell. I want to get him on my show. I want him to come on the show and talk to you. Just because, oh, and now it's Thea. It goes from me to Thea, rhythm as a dancer. Um, how fun is that? Uh, I want Dell to come on the show uh, and talk to you. Um, uh, you know, because yesterday I hadn't seen him in a while. Uh, and I said, you know, how you doing? And he's all, oh, I'm doing good, you know? And he's 74 now and works, you know, has to, because he's like, I got a mortgage and Social Security don't, does not pay, you know, enough. So he's a bartender and he's a bartender at Dottie's and Dottie's are local casinos here and they're everywhere. Um, they're, I don't think they're full casinos. They don't have like, you know, uh, you can't play. They're all video games. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so we've chopped them. Chop the mushrooms, ow! Uh, and so I was talking to him and I said, well, how are things? You know, how are you? How's work? Uh, and one of the things he said in the court, and now there is, doesn't look deliciously healthful and wonderful, by the way. Uh, one of the things he mentioned uh, was, you know, I'm a little scared. And I said, oh, <laughs> you know, and he said, um, uh, you know, a lot of Dotties are getting robbed. Uh, he said a lot of places are getting robbed. He goes, it's never in the news. He goes, but the robberies are just up. And he goes, and our casinos are, you know, spots that people like to come into and rob, you know, rob us. And I'm like, wow, you know, uh, can corporate do anything? He's like, no, not, not really. Uh, and so I was like, you know, that must be terrible to, to have to work, you know, to go to work every day. By the way, I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm not going to set up lighting in my kitchen for you. Well, I mean, I will in time if I need to, but, uh, anyway, you know, so I thought it must be terrible to go to work, uh, and be scared, uh, be afraid, you know, and, and not know, you know, <laughs> If you're going to get robbed that day, if you're going to, you know, if someone's going to come in and harm you. I just read in the, in the news this morning, half a tablespoon of olive oil or more a day stays off heart disease, as, as we've known for a while. Should I put field roast sausage in it? You know I should. Um, and, and, you know, I thought to myself, you know, that's his coffee table. You, you know, I love my back, whatever. You know, that's his coffee table issue. Meaning, yes, he's very politically aware. We always talk about that. He's disgusted with society like everybody else. And I would say he's a, he is a definite Christian uh, and probably a moderate when it comes to politics. But he is as upset with everything going on as everybody else, you know? And he's aware of all of it, you know? He's like, this is ridiculous, you know, the, this governor sending these poor people, you know? And, and so, and you know, and I don't know that he's the most pro-immigration out there. So what I'm saying is that he, you know, he is acutely aware of what is going on in the world. You know, he pays attention to the news, but his news, his worry of the day is being robbed at work. So while he'd like to, you know, pay attention more and probably get involved more, let's throw some garlic in this pan over here, shall we? While he uh, probably would like to, 
you know, the reality of life is he's got to get be worried about, God, this camera is not the easiest thing in the world. This GoPro is not helping me right now. Uh, he's got to be worried, you know, about life, about being robbed. Let's throw garlic in there because we should, because garlic is good. What else should we put in there? What have I written down over here? Garlic and the spinach and all of that. Then I'm gonna need some almond milk, some nutritional yeast, and some onion powder and turmeric to mix up with the, to the tofu and the just egg. And then I'm done. Put it in there and bake it. Oh, sun-dried tomatoes. I have those. I have those. Uh, okay. So that's his coffee table, you know, issue. The, am I going to get robbed at work? Do I have to answer the census? He asked me that yesterday. Do I have to, you know, answer the census? And if I do, they send it to me to where they want me to do it on the computer. He doesn't do anything on the computer. He barely uses his smartphone. And you can say, well, he should just come into the, that's his choice. And you know, he's probably better for it. Drew has probably never read Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram in his life. He would not know how to log on to them, probably. Is he worth for wear for that? No, he's probably better for wear for that. Look at that's our key still. There we go. That's the field roast, the mushrooms, the asparagus. I'm gonna use onion powder instead of onions. I don't want them to overpower the quiche. I'm gonna wilt the spinach on top when that's a little bit more cooked. And this is standing by for the tofu. So that's what's going on here. And I'm just taking things that I have and making do. I think that's what, what prompted me to want to talk to you. Because I'm using my kitchen as an example. I'm, I want a delicious breakfast that's not my oatmeal. And I didn't really plan it out. And so I'm just using what's here and making do uh, to make something wonderful. I'm trying to take what I've got in my world right now and make something wonderful. And isn't that what all of us are doing? You know, this, this Monday, this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you're watching this, should I choose to share it? Isn't that what we're all just doing right now? We're all just taking what's in our world and trying to make something good out of it. And it's getting harder and harder and harder and harder to do. It really, truly is. And, you know, we've got Drew going to work on a regular basis, being a best pepper, by the way, uh, being afraid of being shot. No one should have to go to work every day with a fear of being shot. And it's not Dottie's fault for not protecting him. That's a societal fault. Access to guns, uh, poverty, where people feel this is their only, you know, and yes, people have always robbed things, but there's also always been poor people. Everyone says, well, people have always stolen things. People are just inherently bad, or people just poor. Ever since the invention of money is when we've had robberies. Otherwise, people were just taking food and water. You know, things they need to live. And I guess they still do, right? So, we've got this sautéing over here, and I'm giving you these thoughts of the day as we have illegal immigrants. No, I'm sorry, they're human beings, and they're legal immigrants. Immigration is legal to the United States, even if you come here undocumented. You can seek asylum. You know, there's many legal ways to immigrate as long as you go through the process. And they gave every indication they were going to. Now we have more, 50 more that Greg Abbott, not to be outdone by DeSantis, shipped off to Kamala Harris's house. And the notion that governors can just pick up people and send them somewhere, the notion that, that's, that they're not legally stopped, like that law enforcement isn't going and stopping them and arresting them. Greg Abbott should be arrested. Ron DeSantis should be arrested. And I don't want to think about that while I'm wondering where to drain my tofu. You know, I, real, I truly don't. And I know you don't want to think about that on this, this morning either. And yet it's on your mind. Why? Because you're a thinking, caring, loving individual. Because... You know, even though you're taking care of your family this morning or just yourself, and whether it's Monday or Tuesday or Friday or whatever, you know, just because you're taking care of yourself and your family today doesn't mean that you're not thinking of other families and other people. It's Sunday morning. It used to be a thing to 
view the headlines, watch the Sunday morning shows, read the New York or LA Times or Irish Times or British Times or whatever. That's a habit of people, you know? And now when you do that, there's nothing but terror. Ukrainian, you know, terror, war, horrors of the war going on. You know, that's, that's still happening. And all these other terrors, and you don't want to bring them into your kitchen. You don't want to bring them into your life. You don't. You know? But you think about things as you're cooking. If you're Dell, you think about, am I going to be robbed today? Am I going to have to face someone with a gun today? Wow. I guess if you're a student, one of the real things you probably think about, we're wilting our lettuce. Uh, if you're a student, you know, you, you actually may think about, am I going to be shot today? Is this the day a school shooter finds my school? That probably goes through the minds of some of our kids in America today. I'm trying to think of my future as they fight. But Drew's uh, really worried about Social Security. He said, I need Social Security. And he's like, you know, I have to work, but, you know, I still need the Social Security. And he's like, why would they talk about taking it away from us? And see, that scares people. These politicians, they go out and they use these terms to trigger voters or to do whatever. But what they're really doing is they're terrifying people like Drew, like me, like you. People who, whose lives actually depend on this income that we paid for when we were working. Well, actually, we actually were paying for the current people. I know that. But you know what I'm saying. We thought that was going into our account, so at least minimally when we got to that age, there'd be something there. And maybe Social Security was bad. You know, maybe, maybe it did allow a lot of us to not really worry and set aside money for our future because we thought, well, at least it'd be Social You know, I don't know. That, that'll be up to sociologists to figure out. But I do know Drew depends on it. I do know that I depend on it. I do know that many of you out there depend on it being in your future plan. So when they talk about this like it's a political football, okay, it's not. It's you cooking your food wondering what would happen if Social Security went away. It's you cooking your breakfast going, would I survive this? Would I have to work again? You know, where would I work again? What would I do again? It's you wondering, well, what would happen if I got sick and Medicare wasn't there? What if I need my aorta surgery and Medicare isn't there? That's what, that's what this, the news of the day uh, equates to. It equates to people worrying in their lives about their futures because some politicians say, oh, no, we should privatize Medicare. We should get rid of Medicare. We should blah, blah, blah. They sit there on the Sunday shows, which are known, you know, this is when you're, you catch up on your politics normally. Back in the day before Twitter, you watch the Sunday shows and they trotted out all the senators and the Congress people and they they all spoke about you know what was going on and their part in it, how it affects the people. Now, by the time they get to the Sunday shows, they're just playing catch up. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Well, this is looking fabulous, and the lettuce, or lettuce, spinach, oh, well, same green leafy thing, uh, is the green leafy thing, which is chock full of vitamins and minerals, and irons, potassiums, and all that, uh, is ready. If you find, you want to make sure your asparagus is tender before you put it into your quiche. My asparagus was tender. My heart is pure. My asparagus was tender. I'll let that cook just a little more to get some of that liquid out. And we'll be ready to fill our quiche, bake it, have it so Ember and I can have breakfast at 8 a.m. when we're normally exercising and out of the world. It's a Sunday. It's a late day. I have some silk and topo I have to get rid of, too, so I'm going to use it. I have a block of firm, some silken, and some just egg. I'm making a quiche that way, whether anybody likes it or not. Oh, and it'll be filled with fiber and delicious. My tea is ready, my creamer is ready, it's all good. So yeah, 
in the mornings when you're cooking, when you're eating, when you're getting ready for your day, and you you hear your local news. There are so many murders and pedestrian death and car deaths happening in Las Vegas. I can't even tell you. Every morning I wake up, someone's been shot, someone's been killed, or someone's been run over or died in a car. Uh, so it's either murder, death, kill by gun or whatever, uh, or car death. I mean, that's like all the time. Silken tofu is gelatinous. Do you know how they get the different tofus, by the way? In other words, why is this really soft and gelatinous and that one really firm? Tofu is all about the pressure. It's all about how long it sits under pressure. The longer it sits under pressure, the firmer it is. So this firm one sat under pressure, a lot of pressure, for a long time. The silken sat under just mild pressure for a short time. That's how they get the various tofu firmnesses. And you use them for various things. All right, so we're gonna do the quiche. I'm gonna keep thinking. I'm gonna try to not think today. I'm gonna try to go have fun. Maybe take Ember out to Red Rock. Uh, stay away from downtown. Life is beautiful is down there, the festival that you can watch on Amazon Prime. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can tune into the Life is Beautiful Festival. Uh, it's going on downtown, so that means a lot of traffic down there. So no lunch or brunch down there for me today. Normally I go downtown on Sunday. Do you have a normal Sunday thing, normal Sunday routine? I, of course, still do all my exercise routines, so I'll be doing 20 minutes of yoga. Amber and I will go for a three-mile walk somewhere, and by then it'll be like 11 o'clock. And then we'll try to figure out where to go for lunch around 1. And then we'll go to lunch around 1, and then we'll come home and prep the week. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to try to avoid the horrors. Okay, that's, that's good there. We're going to turn that off. We're going to try to avoid the horrors uh, of the day. So now what we're going to do is throw... Can you see on this camera here? You can. I'm going to throw the tofu in there. In you go, tofu. Uh, what else are we going to put in there? Let's put... I wrote it down over here. Uh, let's put a couple of tablespoons of almond milk a couple, and nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a marvel. Most of you are scared to death of it. And I don't know why. <laughs> don't be afraid of nutritional yeast. Uh, nutritional yeast is its dead yeast. It's not alive. Uh, but look at that. It's woodsy and it tastes like cheese. Uh, and I'm not making that up. It tastes like cheese. Uh, it's delicious and tastes like cheese. And it's just like pure protein. And it's nutritional yeast. So let's put a couple tablespoons of that in there. One, two. That gives it a cheesy, of course I do have some cheese that I'm gonna be putting on top. So let's not act like that's the only cheesy flavor it's gonna get. Uh, and then gotta mix up our homemade almond milk because you know, it does separate. Making the best of what I can with what I've got. That's what life is. The kitchen, you know, kitchens are life. I know that sounds odd, but they really are. Kitchens are life. Just two tablespoons. That looks like two tablespoons. Uh, kitchens are life. Some onion powder, some turmeric, and then some salt. The turmeric by the, oh! And the salt I use, which one is it? Black sea salt. And why do I use the black sea salt? Because black sea salt tastes like what? Say it with me. It tastes like uh, eggs because of the sulfur. So yeah, so use that for your salt. And then here's our turmeric, which is a beautiful color. Uh, and that's what you use it for. And if I'm out, I'm never out. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful color? Oh, see? You do that so your quiche looks like an egg and not... <laughs> you know, because otherwise it'd be this white. And so yeah, I'll put some turmeric in there. Uh, and some onion powder. Turmeric is often used in recipes both for flavor and for color. Curries. Uh, onion powder. Uh, curries use a lot of turmeric. Uh, all right, there we go. We're gonna whiz that about. It's gonna do the hokey pokey. We find the lid. There we go. It's gonna be. It's gonna be noisy for a minute. I love what you know. There's therapy in that. 
There is therapy in just watching a food processor blend something into magic. There really is, I have to tell you. Oh, your brain just sort of like meditates. It doesn't take long, I mean, it's just tofu. It's not like you're grinding nuts into butter. And there we go, there's our filling. Doesn't that look interesting and good? Let's taste it. That's the real thing, we have to eat it, right? Let's taste it. That's the, oh, and it tastes just like egg. Oh my God, that's so fabulous. Uh, okay. And we've got all that flavor. So what I'm gonna do is they mix it together. I feel like pouring that on the bottom and pouring this over it. That's what I feel like doing, so I'm gonna do it. When, when you're in your kitchen and you feel like doing something, just do it. Don't wonder about it. Life is too short. If you feel like just putting this on the bottom of the quiche pan, like this, I'll show you this in a second. Ooh, sweet baby Jesus on the little cross of Mary. So, there's all that, okay? Isn't that lovely? So now, we will pour this over it. I, pr I should probably shorten these videos and take this part out. All the other YouTubers and Instagrammers and people who live in these everything's gotta be in one minute, two minute, three minute worlds. Yep. Oh, gotta do it all. Gotta make a quiche in 60 seconds. Why? Ain't you got 20 minutes? No. Well, why not? There's your problem. Your work-life balance is out of whack. Okay, so now I've spread this tofu fabulous mix over my... Since you're gonna get it all in the same bite anyway. Right? I'll show you. Don't worry. Okay, there. I've spread that like that. Now what I'm going to do is take just egg and put some just egg over that and then some cheese over that uh, because that's how life should be. And if you don't believe that's how life should be, then you're in the wrong place. Oh, I, did I move right out of camera? I sure did. The camera work has been horrible, but oh well. Shake your just egg. And the video quality is horrible. The, the lighting is terrible because it's got the overhead fluorescent light. But we're going to pour the, pour the just egg around. Oh, well, that's interesting. It sort of incorporates with the two. I've never done this before. We're doing this together. So let's mix it in. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. We could mix it totally. You want to just mix it up. Oh, this is kind of fun. It's kind of like playing in a playground. I can't explain it. You'll have to just do it. It's fun. I'm just mixing the just egg, the tofu. Why? I don't know. Why did I choose to do this here? I don't know, because I was looking at it and thought, what would happen if I just mixed this? It's making a little bit of a mess, but I don't care. Smooth it out. That's cool. See, the kitchen is also a fun place where you can just experiment. I mean, is that gonna work? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I may make a big gloppy mess is what I might be doing. I might end up doing this and eating oatmeal, you know? That's how life is, right? That's how it is. Uh, okay, so I'm now gonna put the cheese on there. Just egg you have to use. You can't keep it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And since I only eat it on the weekends, I tend to have to use it on the weekends. And you're like, that's a lot of cheese, Corel. Yes, it is. Well, it's Daya, it's, you know. Daya. Miyoko's would be equally as good. I just couldn't find any. I couldn't find any Miyoko's. Well, I need to go to the store, obviously, so I'll have to get more cheese. But I don't use the mozzarella until the weekend. And I usually get the Miyoko's horrible mozzarella, but again, supply chain issue. Put some cheddar on there too. Oh, I know being a vegan is so boring. So boring. Is anything about this quiche been boring? No. Okay, 
So where do you suppose I put the plate that goes into the Brava oven? Where do you suppose I put that? How about in, the, in here? <laughs> what is here? It's called a dishwasher. And the answer is yes, I put it there. All right, I'm going to put the quiche. It puts the quiche on the plate. There we go. And into my Brava, it's going to go for, oh, I don't know. What did I write? <laughs> what did I put in my recipe? Uh, 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 come on. See, that's what I hate about iPads sometimes. They go to sleep and then you have to go through a whole process to wake them up. Uh, 20 minutes. Or no, blah, blah, blah. 35 minutes. I ain't eating until 8.25. Well, corn my pone. I might have to get high. All right, I'll see you all in 35 minutes with that bait. Let's see what we do. Oh my God, Becky. There it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? In 10 minutes, I'm gonna eat that. Dressed up with some what? Avocado salsa, baby. Uh, which is a half of avocado and two tablespoons of your favorite salsa mixed together. Uh, and that's gonna be quiche for now and for a few breakfasts. So that's great. Ember is ready to eat. She's ready to go. She's like, Dad. I know I'm just using this microphone and I apologize for that, but I wanted to show you that, okay? I'll do a wrap up maybe later, but I wanted to show you that. It, oh. Oh. There it is, and it's going to be delicious. Ember and I are going to finally eat at quarter to nine, uh, but it's a Sunday. Have a good one. If you're listening to this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, have a great one of those or a Saturday. I am Carell in the kitchen, being the vegan in Vegas, baby.